Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster campaign playing as the Exiles of Nehek, where we'll be primarily going up against Nagarond. It's been a while since we've actually done a Saving Disaster campaign, but here's the situation. Uh, turn 55, he's only got one province, and I guess he's concerned that he's about to get stomped by overwhelming Nagarond forces here. So looking at that, they are significantly stronger than him. Um, so that's where he's called in me to try and save him. Okay, so we need to see what we can do here. I'd say that our best bet is to be aggressive against this because if we wait until the end turn for them to attack, they'll be able to ut utilize all three of their armies. Whereas if we attack Hellebron here, we can isolate these two from this army here. And it'd just be, it'd be a bit easier if we're dealing with just essentially one army as opposed to two. Also, Hellebron is really quite weak at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we just gotta figure out how best to do that. Uh, cancel your recruits for the time being. <coughs> I can see that you've been using global here, um, and it's been that, like, that way for a turn, but we need to do something. We just need to use these guys now. So what I want to do is transfer all the units we can into Kateb's army. Uh, if Kateb could just move over here just briefly. Bring this one over here, and this one over here. There's not a lot of room in there, I have to move out of the way so they can actually reinforce. What I want to do here is, is deny enemy reinforcements, so I need to make sure I've got 21 units. So currently, we're at 18. We've got two wizards in here, so attach them into Katep. Alright, that gets us to 20. We still can't deny enemy reinforcements, because if we denied them... There's six units in here and 20 in here. So that would stop one, two, three, four, five, six. These ones here from showing up at the start, which would mean we'd have the mobility advantage. Oh, except for this guy here. Uh, but that's that's okay. All right. Uh, are there any Regiment of Renowns? No. Still got another turn to wait. Um, what about... Nope, that's not available. What about this? No, that's not going to do anything. Okay, we can get the flock of Dejaf. It's the only thing. We okay, that'll get us to 21. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, we'll throw that into Katep's army. Now, the funny thing here is if we're at 19 units and we have two armies coming in at reinforcement like this, they should both show up at the same We'll have 21 units and they'll only have 20. So we'll have a slight advantage over them. Yeah, do some leveling up here, see if there's anything we could boost. Mm. Actually, I might I might just wait till next turn. Uh, wait till after the battle before I do that one. Okay, so now we attack Hellebron with everything that we've got here. If we lose here, it is game over. Alright, well the balance of power is even, so that's good. Um... Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's, uh, deny enemy reinforcements, which will still give us all of our forces. So, yeah, this is basically a bit of an advantage. Because we don't just need to win this battle, we need to win it well. Because if we do a bad job, as in half of our army gets destroyed, their other army is just gonna kick our ass. We don't want that to happen. Could be ideal if it actually attacks us over the end turn, and we're strong enough to actually beat it. Alright, well, we need to stand far enough back so that our reinforcements are going to be okay to show up. Uh, you could come over here, and what we'll do is, when they're coming in, just drop the bomb on them. Alright, which of the heroes are on horseback? Because i got to get to learn his army. Okay, those two are on horseback. Alright. Alright, we can use the terrain to our advantage a little bit. So they can't flank us. Okay, and yeah, I think we should just uh, run through here. All right, let's uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll save the arcane conduit for later. Not that it costs anything to use it now; it'll just be on cooldown. Um, so yeah, I just prefer not. Yeah, look, we've got uh, twenty-one units. 
We'll have 30 wins of magic even if we don't use it by the time we actually cast anything. Come on, come on, come on. This would be a perfect... Oh, no, 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 no. Fucking Malekith. Son of a bitch. Stop. Stop foiling my plans. Okay, five more seconds. Five more seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I put on these motherfucking over here? And then get it. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> I didn't make very good use out of that. Uh, fucking carrion. Unfortunately, they're just, they're just really squishy. Alright, how are we going over here? We definitely did some damage to them, for sure. But, I mean, you only get one bomb anyway. It's good that these guys are coming over here early. Let's send Katep over there to... Stupid restrict camera. To, um... Cast that free... Spell. Alright, let's use... Let's primarily use Banishment. I feel like it's a lot better than the, um... Sekhmet Skull score, Storm. See, I wanted to wait until I cast it before using the Arcane Conduit. Yep. That's, uh, that's decent damage. Oh, they're falling back a little bit. Okay, well, that happens. Okay, that looks like a pretty good opportunity in there to cast it. It'll, it'll do a bit of damage. You can overcast it to do extra damage, I just don't really feel like overcasting. Save some magic for other spells. That, that one actually possibly did better. Yeah, it did do better. Well, there's a bigger cluster of them. Okay, Katep can heal with this. Good, bring him back. Need to get him on his casket of souls. This is good, thinning them out a hell of a lot before the battle even really begins. That's what we want to do. So, yeah, we got a few kills. Okay, let's, um, let's do that and just hope it hits something. Alright, let's bring the archers up here and try to get rid of their dark shards nice and early. Yeah, we can outrange them. How'd that go? Uh, yep, it hit them a little bit. It's okay. Like I said, just little bits here and there. Tiny little victories, wherever we can get. The problem here is that I can't see the projectiles very well because of the contrast. So it's more difficult to dodge those shots in the snow. It's good that they're dicking around. That's what we want to do. Yeah, just get them to keep shooting at Katep. He can still heal. Good. Yeah, getting rid of these dark shards here early, that's really good. Really good. Alright, how are we going for wins? Yeah, we're almost at max again. Alright, let's maybe chuck down a banishment there. That looks pretty good. Good. Alright, now just get back over there. Good. So how'd that go? Looks like a decent banishment. Okay, they still haven't discovered us, but I think they, they're catching on to 
somewhat one being in there. Okay, because we wiped out some of their units, they're going to have reinforcements come in now. Oh well. It's probably just one of the Dark Shards with shields. I don't think the cavalry unit will come in until that one's actually run off the battlefield. So... Yeah, decent amount of damage done with all of them. They've definitely done their worth. Need more wins. Need five more if I want to get another banishment up in there. It'd be good if that guy could come in ahead of the rest of the army. That is really good. Okay, I'm going to show myself over here, try to get them to chase after me. Even better still, what if... Um, mm, that was... That, that looks like it's going to do pretty well. It's going to get that one as well. Good, good. See, I need them to come at me a little bit at a time, not all together. Come up here again, Katep. I want to put that uh, bounce bell down. Don't worry too much about trying to snipe Hellebron. Because she got a lot of magic resistance. And another one for good measure. Banishment would be better, but we don't have the wins for it. Good. If they can get the um, the murderous prowess now before they've even really started fighting, that would be ideal. Uh, I'd love to do a um, hey, what's it called right there? A uh, net of Amantok. Okay, you guys run over here. Try to get them to just stay away from Kateb. He's getting beat up too much. Can't heal to full now. God, that guy's beating the crap out of me. Come on, get back, get back, get back. Just try to keep as many of them away as possible. If any of them die, that's no big deal. We can just replace them quite easily. Alright, shoot Hellebron. Okay, they're not, they're not really going for... Oh, yeah, Malekith. Forgot he was there as well. Okay, good. Hellebron's down. It's dead. Taking some damage, though. Unfortunately, they didn't. Oh, no, they're, they're kind of they're going for the wizards. Can't really do much with them now, anyway. This wizard here is not overly important. Okay, try to get them out of there. And let's send in some of the shit units first. Oh, don't use the wizard for holding them back. That'd be really silly. Okay, try to shoot the wizards. Ah, pff, the archers, I mean. Right, get over here. And Katep will heal you in just a few moments. Oh, fuck off, Malachus. Seriously. I'm the only one that should be casting loads of magic. Uh, this guy here is... Oh, that's a Necrotect. Yeah, that's... Ah, uh, he's gone. Sorry. But we had to hold them back. I mean, I think that Necrotech was, like, level 1 anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, uh, but he may have been a Sphinx Carver. But like I said, we just had to hold them back. Hey, don't want to lose any more units. See, I would shoot at Malekith, except for the fact that... Uh, oh, that unit died. Um, 
he'll be kind of hard to hit. So we, we, the way we beat him is by destroying his army. These two might be okay to get back in there. Fuck, we got Dark Riders coming in over here. Can't do much about Malekith. Alright, uh, what do we got over here? No, I don't like that spell. Uh, and they just uh, did the dirty on us. Yeah, come over here. Let's cast on those dark shards. On, move, 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 move. Guys here are still fighting. I'd be able to heal them in 20 seconds. And Malakas is kind of going to. They fucking dodged me! <laughs> They're the shits. Yeah, there's single entities here are kind of difficult to deal with. Here, you go chase them off. Just try and stay away from them. Looks like they're gonna wipe out our uh, tomb guard here. I just I can't do much about it. Okay, we've just about gotten rid of Malekith. But yeah, really difficult to get rid of him. Okay. Okay, none of the archers have been killed off, which is good. And Malekith has shattered... Okay, army lost penalty. Alright. We definitely took a beating in that battle, but... It's, um... We're not out yet. We're not out yet. Yeah, don't worry about running him down. Uh, instead, come over here, and let's try to get some healing done. Let's try to revive some of our troops. So that we've, um... We'll just get a few extra troops, really. Because we might get attacked over... As, in fact, I'd say it's pretty likely we're going to get attacked over the end turn. So we're going to need to be ready for that. So what we do here is we fake cast so that we can get the passive from the Restless Dead active. Which allows us to recover a small amount of hit points, but also revive dead units. I mean, they're all dead, but you know what I mean. But the, uh, the other Tomb Kings, they were pretty good for tanking. I mean, you're not really supposed to use a Necrotect for it, but I didn't have a whole lot of crowd control, and we really needed to hold them back. And like I said, it's free to get another one, and it was only level one. So, let's keep doing this. I think I can speed this up when do it. Very cheesy, but it's just a good way to gain extra bounce of power since we're not going to be able to get any recovery between now and next turn. Now we need to make sure we can actually win the next fight. Okay, now slow down. Reviving quite a few of our casualties. They're getting healed. Yeah. Every single soldier counts. Alright, that'll do. So yeah, shame about that Necrotect, but, you know, like I said, that was a... Bit of a sticky situation. And then we withdrew that one from the battlefield because um, unfortunately that plan didn't really work out as well as I was hoping. And I was just in a sticky situation there. I had to withdraw it. It was either withdraw or die. At least this way we can use it in the next battle. 
Okay, then... Yeah, we're gonna need that replenishment rate. Money would have been great, but... We just we gotta be ready for the next fight. Because, yeah, there's 19 units in there. Alright, what I reckon we should do is go into ambush dance with Katep. Actually, can Katep recruit? Yeah, Katep's able to recruit at a, like a, lots of uh, experience. I'd say it's pretty likely they'll still make the attack on us. Hang on, let me have a look at some of the stuff here first. Yeah, I'm not going to use Spirit Leech. The day of awakening comes. Okay, and Katep's got to level up. Cask of the Souls would definitely be best. Yeah, for sure. You could do hundreds of kills with that. Okay, and... Let me look here. Yeah, there's a big difference between Katep recruiting and somebody else doing it. So what we'll do here, I think, is get in a little bit closer there. Go into ambush stance with these two, and then we'll hide some of our units in here. Like this one and this one. Yep. That way, this guy can only see Katep. And we'll have Katep recruits. Yeah, replace the Tomb Guards. We've got enough archers for the time being. It would be good to get more, but we'll just go with that. Um, I could put this guy in global. Yeah, yeah, because the other, it's the other one that's hidden. And just have him access global. Not Katep, though, because for one thing, Katep can't get in that stance. And yeah, you just get some more archers. Okay, cool. Alright, have we got enough money for anything good? Alright, we got public orders fine here. Get the reduced construction cost. Because it'd be really good if you can get some Tomb Scorpions there. And let's just hope that we can get through the battle. So yeah, if this guy here doesn't get detected, what we're doing is just hiding these units. And it seems like next turn we'll also be able to hire some Regiment of Renown. No way. Alright, so the Necrotect died. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, let me see, what are the skills that you got on these? Knowledge. Okay, so you are trait farming. Oh, this one here is wise. Okay, so maybe... Okay, knowledgeable. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> look, I'll see if I can get you another knowledgeable one. So, I don't feel like these low-level wizards are necessary in our armies right now. Cunning. I'll, I'll leave you there, actually. Because that'll uh, increase our chance of, um, of ambush. I should have recruited that one last, actually. That's fine. And just get some more comfort jars for the turn. And as for the Necrotech, there, there'll be another one there next turn, so we'll just wait for that. Okay, you don't have any access to Tomb Princes. You should do that right away. So let's let's grab this, because that's really important. You want to you get access to all three of your hero types as soon as possible. Alright, I think I've done everything I can. Actually, let me let me look at diplomacy. Let's speak to Nagarith and see if we can get them to join war against uh, Nagarond. Yes. Oh, awesome. Let's see if we can get them to go join war against Karand Kar. Nice, 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 nice. Wow, everyone's stronger than us by a lot. Well, it's because your armies are weak. Okay, let's move on and just uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, we ambushed him. Nice. Um, we can't order resolve that. That's not going to work. Okay. Let's fight it manually. Alright, good. Our reinforcements coming from the same location. The thing I'll do with this is just uh, just go over there and bomb it. And these two here, just wait over here. 
Yep. Let's basically steer clear away from these Dark Riders. Should have plenty of time to get organized. Now, it's po quite possible that their forces are slightly stronger than ours. Oh, they've got shades there. Alright, let's just drop the bombs here. Yeah, got a few kills. Okay, so these two are the wizards. Let's bring them up. And... Uh, this is not the best position. Ah, uh, shit. That's, yeah, this isn't actually the best position at all. Yeah, uh, if those, if these ones here could just go near Katep really quickly, where is he? Animals. Looks like they're just kind of getting a little bit organized, which is fine. Yeah, we can get some healing from Katep. Can't revive any casualties, but I can at least get a little bit of healing in. Just to help improve our bounce of power just slightly. How are these two coming, coming along? The problem with this is that we won't really see them... Oh! It's right at the edge of the, the movement, so I guess that's okay. Get into position there. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, these melee infantry here are going to get destroyed in this battle. We don't want to get this. Oh, we've been discovered. Um, that's too far away. Look, if we could try to get. See, I can only do this on one of them. Crap. Yeah, if I can get their um, Doomfire Warlocks over here early, that could work as well. But shit, I might have to net a Vamma it. Both of these guys are immortal, though. Come on, you just need to get a little bit further. They cut. If send someone to chase up it, coming up. I don't want a net of amateur because I want them to come over here. This is working. This is working. This is working. Okay. No point net of amateur it now. Just shoot the crap out of it. Kill it before they kill us. Okay. I gotta get some bloody cast in over here, but I gotta get close enough to do it. But that's pretty good, getting rid of that unit nice and early. That's, uh, that's, I thought I'd put them on guard mode. Guess I didn't. Obey and move. Ah, crap, where are we going to get a good cast in? Uh, maybe there would be okay. Yeah, these trees aren't really ideal because they're going to block a lot of our shots, but we make do with what we've got. Coming back for round two. I think we're outnumbered by a little bit, but most of them are just melee infantry. So how did that one go? 152 kills, not bad. Just hold them back wherever we can. This is the downside to um, going out of Casket of Souls. Using the bounce spell is kind of difficult. Because we're not mobile. Okay. Pop that down on him. Some of our lords might die. Oh well, gotta do what we gotta do. That's another good banishment. Oh, we got incoming over here. You gotta hold them back. You gotta hold them back. Doesn't matter if the uh, flock of Jaff dies. Getting us over here a bit. 
Undead. Unfortunately, that's not really going to do anything here. I need to move up a little bit. Okay, it's, it's working, it's working. It's working. Okay, they got the murderous prowess. I need you to just shoot into this. And this guy here is not going to hold out much longer. Let's see if we can give him some support. Okay, pull that one back. If we can. Before he gets killed, get him over to... This one here looks like it's about to get wiped out. Let's try to withdraw it from the battlefield really quickly then. Okay, let's get another banishment there. Oh, we don't want this one dying either, because he's knowledgeable. Come on, you need to get over near Katep so you can get a heal. Yeah, there goes the infantry. Pretty much expected. Not going to do anything, but there you go. You can hold on a little bit longer. Okay, you two get over here. Get ready for a heal. How are you going? You're holding on. Come on. Got to get in close to Katep. Five more seconds and a little bit of heal. We'll go a long way here. Need that fucking army losses. Come on, get over here, get over here, get rid of him. Fuck it. Come on, get over here, you're gonna need some healing now. Alright, um, you haven't fully recovered, but just... Just gonna have to go over there, or else we're gonna lose all these archers. Don't worry about their lord, go for their army. Okay, we've rounded off most of their forces. They're all just about broken. Still no army losses yet, but I think we're okay. Watch out, don't die. That doesn't provide any regen, but... Oh, we got this, we got this. Uh, that'll help a great deal. Yeah, there's some shades in there. That's what's still providing them with some balance of power. So shoot into that. Fuck I'm gonna use Spirit Leech on him. <laughs> I did say I wasn't gonna do it, or wasn't likely gonna use it, but this guy here is the, the biggest thing in their balance of power. Just gotta get rid of it. Okay, all the heroes get back over here. We've got another heal coming in. And there's the army losses, cool. Alright, no point wiping them out. Yeah, yeah, run all of them down. Yeah, no point wiping him out because then they'll just replace it with somebody else anyway. But try to wipe out as many of these guys here as we can. And then once again, let's just try to heal as much as possible because we, we don't essentially want to finish them off next turn. But, you know, we won. Uh, we didn't lose anything overly important. We lost, you know, our melee infantry, which, you know, we can replace. Alright, so Katep, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, and also bring them back over here because we can revive them. Yeah, that was my Ushabti there. Okay, should take them a little while to jump off the battlefield. Yep, I can see some of them coming back. Shouldn't need to do this too much, just to help bring back some of them. Because you'd hate it if you fight the next battle, right? And you lost by like the smallest of margins. He just wished you had just a couple more archers. So, might seem petty doing this, and it is, but tiny little petty bonuses can add up. See this one here really recovering. Alright, cool. 
At least no heroes died that time, so that's good. It would have been good if we could have wiped out um, those shades, but I didn't even see them for the majority of the battle. They didn't do much damage from the trees there anyway. It was the Doomfire Warlocks we have to be most concerned about. Yeah, so we just lost the three units of melee infantry, which Katep was already recruiting three replacements of Tomb Guard, so it's a sort of a trade-off for the turn. Alright, let's go with money there. We have to stop him from finishing that recruitment. Have to attack him. We also got the Brass Cleaver, that's good. It's a good item. Alright, let's see. So now we've got access to Tomb Princes. Uh, no knowledgeable wizard showed up this turn. Alright, how's the strength ranking? Mm, that's... It's a lot better than it was before. So this guy here is still recruiting in global. So we're not going to keep him coming. Yeah, you're going to need route march. You need to be able to move. Especially through here. Oh, this one's so close to resurrect. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll get that. Okay, based on this, it looks like you're going with unfading memory. Who is this anyway? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Okay. The day of awakening. Alright. And yeah, we've got this one here, which I just kept for the turn. That one probably helped us getting the actual ambush there. So, once again, just try to get those... Um... Also, one thing I want to notice. Um, people often ask about this with in regard to heroes, and there's a bit of a bug with this. Uh, the treacherous trait for heroes is actually completely bugged. It doesn't work at all. Anytime a trait on a hero says, in brackets, Lord's Army, it doesn't work, okay? It only works if it's actually a Lord. It has to actually say Hero's Army in order for it to work. So the melee attack plus five for Tomb King, uh, sorry, to Tomb Scorpion and, and the melee defense, if you attach this in an army with Tomb Scorpions, it does not work. It works for the Lord, so a Lord that has a treacherous trait, it does work, but for the heroes it doesn't. So if you're trying to get like a doom stack of Tomb Scorpions to be super duper strong, by putting in these kind of heroes, it's it's just not going to work. So just do it with a lord. Okay, there's. I don't know if you. I don't know what kind of trait he's looking for with this. Um, I guess since you've got access to three, why don't we just grab the Ushabti Carver here? And faves? if it's not what you want, then you can just disband it later. I guess same sort of thing with the Tomb Prince, although I'll recruit the Tomb Prince over here once we've... I'm going to capture that settlement. He might have been using that as a Sac City, that's how he got leveled up, which normally that's that's probably a good idea. But I think what we really need to do here is occupy this so that we can locally recruit here and here because it's separate provinces. Because you just need to get your forces up and running. They're just going to keep sending army after army at you and you've got to be able to recruit faster. So having two provinces to recruit from will, will greatly help. So with that, I'll return you back to this one here that you were doing. <sighs> Research rate's only 54%, so that's pretty bad. Alright, we should be able to handle this with we've got. Also, we should have access to Regiment of Renown. Let's put that into this army here. Seems like an emergency situation, so yeah, we'll make use of it. And... Yeah. Looks like we just order resolve it. Nice. Probably shouldn't order resolve it because we might take lopsided damage, but let me just see. Onward, soldiers! Yeah, I reckon if we auto-resolve, this guy here will die. Oh, well. No, it's not, it's not too bad. I'm sure we could have done better if I fought it manually, but... I don't know. If we don't get attacked over the end turn... Hey, that's good. Channel Valley Necrotect. You want to hold on to that? We've got two of them. 
Okay, uh, if we're gonna do that, what we wanna do is... Well, you need more than... Actually, how many do you have? Oh, you've actually already got a bunch. Oh, so is that what you were doing to gain money here? You were, you were actually building this really cheap? Well, I won't be able to do it this turn. Doesn't apply on this. It's a bit cheaper. Alright, we'll put a channel veil. Hang on. Yeah, might have to send Katep back there next turn to, um... To do that. Well, ha hang on. I just got two, so we had one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, you got five of them. Yeah, that'll that'll reduce the construction cost a fair bit. So, yeah, because the Channel Valley Necrotect, you build these ones here super cheap, and then demolish it, and you get, like, 3,600 back, even though you didn't pay anything for it. So it's a good way to make money in the early game. And there's your Resurrect. Good. Double healing. And you... Yeah, that's fine. And then Katep... Yeah, he can recruit things, yeah, really high experience. Does he have, like, a trait or something that does that? What's, uh, how is he able to recruit so much higher rank than everyone else? Uh, I'm honestly not sure where he's getting it. He's got to get it from somewhere, surely. Might just be missing it. Let's see, where is he getting all that local uh, the the, um, the the recruit ranks? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I, I just can't find where it was. Maybe you guys will tell me. I just didn't see it. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe it's in here somewhere. No, I can't see where he's getting it from. Is it got anything to do with here? No, I, I cannot figure out how he's recruiting them at that high rank. Alright, so he's already got his Casket of Souls now. Uh, you're working towards Arcane Conduit. You already did the red line, that's fine. The blue line is very useful. So is his unique line. I would leave him with the Casket of Souls because he did do a lot of damage that way. Even if it does make some of his abilities kind of finicky. I think it's important to get Root Marcher. You need the campaign movement range. Or does the heroes... Are they the ones that are doing it? I, I have no idea. Hang on. There it is. There it is. It was the heroes. Recruit rank plus two for all units. So that's providing two. And that's providing two. So that's four. Something else is providing one recruit rank. Um, it doesn't matter. I found, I found where it is. That's, that's fine. More or less. Okay. And this guy here can also recruit locally. Yeah, just get their marches going. Okay, cool. If we can get some more money together, we could build, build that. But let's have a look at the strength ranking now. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's pretty much even. Hmm. Not too bad at all. So, in terms of which position we should go through, I'd recommend going north through here as opposed to going this way, but you should also scout this way. So, what we'd want to do is get that Tomb Prince here and use that as a scout so that we can see that where they're coming. You're already, already friendly with the Heralds of Ariel, so Nagron's not going to come up this way. So, yeah, if you could just keep an eye out from where they're coming, it could be really useful. Maybe recruiting another Necrotect over here to get him to do go look up this way as well could be really handy. Just so you know what's coming. You can always just disband it later. And if we want more heroes, uh, 2,000... Yeah, that's pretty expensive, actually. Um, yeah, keep going with this. Alright, well, let's see what happens over this end turn here. And if nothing bad happens, I think this is more or less saved. I mean, you still got a lot of work to do to actually defeat Nagarond, but... I'm not here to win your campaigns for you. I'm here to, you know, give you a second chance in your campaign, which I think we've thoroughly done that. The only thing I really feel bad about was that initial Necrotech loss. I didn't see what his trait was, but if he was a Sphinx Carver, or... yeah, that, that'd suck. You know what? I actually reckon you should get Scorpion Carvers now. Scorpions are better than, than Sphinxes, I think. 
Anyway, you're not at tier 5, so you wouldn't be our main Q's of it anyway. Okay, well, they didn't attack us, and... Yeah, our strength ranking's a little bit lower than them. But if we scout ahead a little bit... Alright, well, we can see they're coming. Okay. Alright, so two things to note here. This one can't reach us here. Can't reach the settlement. And we should prevent this one from from, fin uh, from finishing his recruitment. So what you want to do is come over here and just sack it, probably. I don't think I want to occupy it because that puts us on a border with Karen Carr. This guy here is still recruiting. Well, actually, no, he's finished. My, my mistake. Um, yeah, having heroes scout ahead is really, really handy. But if we can go into encamp stance, what could happen here is that this one could come to about there. And then it'd be so easy to beat it. Alright, so here's what we do, here's what we do. Um, we're gonna set up a trap. Yeah, I'm gonna set up a trap. This might work, it's gonna be a little bit tricky though. So, we definitely want Katep to be recruiting because he gets such a high recruit rank. Um, this one here is not providing that, is it? No, not yet. Okay. So, if we want to set up the trap, we got to give them the bait. Let's have a look at what other heroes are available as well. Hey, no Light Knowledgeable Wizard. That's what you want. Really, really good there. Alright, I'm going to get that for you. You should keep that. Okay. So, I'm going to want this guy here in ambush stance, I think. And do we have a cunning one? There was a cunning Lich Priest in there, but I'm not going to worry about that. What's the ambush success chance? 50-50. That's okay. If it comes down this way, that's that's good enough. And then, what we want to do... Actually, move it, move it a little bit further up. Like, just one tile. Strike on my command! Yeah, yeah, that should be sufficient. Okay, and then hide the majority of Katep's army here. Yep, like that. And then have Katep standing behind it. Yep. And uh, recruit some more crap. And this one here, just keep recruiting. I don't like Nehekara Warriors. I actually prefer Skeleton Warriors over Nehekara Warriors. I just, just don't like them. Yeah. Even though you don't have the recruit rank with this one, just I just gotta pump out troops. So basically, they should just see Katep sitting here within attack range as like an easy target. They'll come down here, get ambushed, 50-50 chance, um, and then we smash them. Okay, hang on. If we can attach... Not to be okay, if I attach this into the army, we increase our chances by 5%. We've already we've already got the recruit rank, we can just switch it back next turn. That way the ambush success chance is an extra 5%. Okay. What is this foolishness? So yeah, this one here just keeps an eye on that. Uh, what's the bit? Yeah, that's fine. Don't bother building it up. Just use it as a punching bag, essentially. Just leave that be for now. That'd be nice. Get another one of those going. But I don't have enough money. All right, and we'll see if this works. If this if this plays off, then yeah, I think I can hand it back just fine. Not that that would be a huge problem in the first place, but it's really just about. Um, yeah, they're going for it. Oh, it's Malekith. Oh, God, he revives quickly. Ambush was successful. If I auto that... Um, okay, there's two mines here. If we fight it manually, pretty sure we'll win. Yeah, pretty sure we'll win. And then we'll, we should be able to pursue him afterwards to... Um, because on a force march to get a second victory, just to help level up our dudes. 
Yeah, I think it's better if we fight this manually. All right, let's do this. Um, yeah, control large armies. So yep, the plan worked perfectly. But I think it's really important that we actually wound Malekith in this battle, because if we don't, he'll get even a small amount of experience, and that's bad. Ah, oh, it's the same map as before. Um, can't say it's my favorite map. If I set up over... Like, this is a better defensive position, but the problem is, like, they'll just not show up on the battlefield. This here is actually the best position, because the archers will be so far away from us. Which just take too long to get to us. Okay, and what I'll do here is I'll... I don't think it's got any particularly fast units, so we'll go down there and cast spells. You just stay over there. Um, haven't had great luck with them so far, but I'll see what I can do with them. And what are you doing? You stand here. And I'll just try to get them over here as quickly as I can. Okay, try to lock that down there. That's all we want to do. Get rid of them. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Ooh. Well, that worked out pretty nicely. Alright, that, uh, that banishment was okay. Ah, uh, bloody fucking rampage. <laughs> yeah, they rampage. Oh, well. Alright, that ban- uh, Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Got them tied down. I think they're going to get wiped out. It's alright. Easy come, easy go. Keeping them tied up. Oh, I might actually be able to get it out. If it could just gain control of it. Okay, we're getting control. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, I can't really see what's going on over here, so I fall back there. Okay, he's not going to survive there forever. I need you to come back around this way. Okay, where are you? Get over here. I can't really focus on this right now, so just try to avoid them. Banishment in here will do tons of damage, but I gotta hurry up. Alright, here we go, here we go. Nice! That actually did their worth by quite a lot. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, he's taking too much damage, gotta pull him back now. Okay, that looked like a pretty decent banishment. Yeah, we definitely want to avoid blobbing up. Okay. These guys here, move over this way. We're okay here, we're not taking too much damage. Now, I did say that we need to wipe out Malekith, but... We're not going to do that with melee infantry or archers at this point here. I'm probably going to need the Sepulchre Stalkers to get him at the end of the battle. Good thing he doesn't have Dark Conduit. Come on, you need to get out of there. Crap. It might have been better just to not bring them at all. Oh, 
how we go in there? Yeah, okay, it's fine. He's fucking magic, man. <laughs> How much damage has he done? Yeah, he's done a lot. Okay, look, we're gonna have to try to snipe him. I'm gonna try to pull everyone away from him. Look, looks like our tomb guard's getting wiped out, but you know, that can be replaced easily enough. Something did rampage on us. Oh, I can't get that from here. But yeah, we just gotta we gotta try to shoot into Malekith. I can't get him from here. I just can't. Actually, that debuff was a pretty bad idea. That did, like, nothing. Get out of there so I can actually shoot him. Okay, it's still alive. It's still alive. That's good. Yeah, we just gotta tie him down with him fighting garbage. For the most part. Where'd that light wizard go? I don't have enough magic. Okay, you get back in there. Just try your best to get him. Alright, there's the army losses, cool. Now we have to make sure he gets wounded. Now I think that auto resolve. Eh, we didn't lose any units, did we? No, we didn't lose any units, so it's fine. And like I said, the whole point of this is so we can get two battles, so we can keep getting more experience. Okay, yeah, now we need the sepulchral stalkers to do their do their thing here. How about just let the Sepulchral Stalkers handle this. You need to get back near near this one. And we'll try to heal them a bit. To undo some of the damage that's been done. You go around this way and uh, just attack him a bit. Quite a dead unit, should try to run that down a bit more. Good, looks like they'll get rid of Malekith. Start bringing them back. Uh, if Katep could get over there, that would be good. But he's so slow; he's, it's going to take forever. Uh, could probably meet him halfway, but these guys will get off the battlefield fairly quickly. Just want to try to get back some of those tomb guard, even if it's just a handful. Shit. That's why I got to cast it out of range. So yeah, I brought back a couple of them. Cool. Yeah, no units got wiped out. It was, just, it was just a bit messy. Would have been really good if Katep actually had shown up behind us. Because I could have made really made use of that Casket of Souls. And yeah, Malekith got wounded, so that means no experience for him. But yeah, he's always going to be a big problem because of his magic. And I think we should go for money. I feel like our replenishment rate will be fine. Because he's got a wizard in there. And now this guy's got the uh, Immortal Unbeloved as well. Well, that's just great. You know, that happens. Yeah. 
So yeah, they're getting their shit together pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, you, you can go after that. And we recruited a couple more units here, so we're probably a little bit stronger now than what we were at the beat, at the end of the previous turn. And you know, this, they're getting levels up. Okay, cool. I'd say this disaster's pretty much solved. If we have a look at the strength ranking... No. Threats are wasted. Yeah, we are... Mm, no, they're still technically stronger. But catching up, just getting there a little bit by a little bit. But yeah, with the with the guys getting leveled up more, if this guy here can manage to get to rank 14, which is not too far off, we get him a Cambrian War Sphinx, that'll make a big difference in those battles. That'll really increase his strength. Anyway, I think that's enough. So that's the end of this one here, guys. I think this is pretty much solved. I mean, it's a fairly difficult campaign. I can't do the whole thing for him. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty much solved. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.